Hi, I'm Aaron with Synaptics. This video will show you how to turn on Synaptics Astro Wireless Connection. I will guide you through the process of enabling both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Before we begin the demo, I recommend accessing the user manual on our website. This will serve as a valuable reference and a useful tool, allowing you to copy and paste information for your setup. Now let's navigate to the Synaptics Astra GitHub repository. Click on the documentation section within the repository. Select the latest version, and then open the Astra Yocto Linux user guide for detailed instructions and reference materials. This guide will provide you with comprehensive information necessary for setting up and using the Astra Yocto Linux environment. If you need help setting the board up, refer to the previous Machina video tutorial. Remember, all the commands I'm about to use is available in the user guide. Now, click on Connectivity, then select Setting up Wi-Fi with WPA Supplicant. I'll switch over to my terminal to show what it looks like once we've logged in to the Linux console. After Linux successfully boots, a login prompt will be displayed in the serial console. To log in, use the username root. First thing we are going to do is generate the WPA pre-shared key. Enter the command WPA underscore passphrase. Let's say the SSID of the Wi-Fi network you would like to connect is guest, and the passphrase is 2024-2405. After hitting enter, you will get this WPA information. Make a point to copy the line of information into a notepad or something that is accessible for future use, because you will need to use this again. Now, you will bring up the WLAN interface by typing the command ifconfig wlan0 up. You'll need to create a directory with this command, mkdir-p slash etc slash wpa underscore supplicant. Since I've already made this directory, I won't hit enter. Next, create a file wpa underscore supplicant dash wlan0.conf with vi. When you open this file, it will be blank, and you will need to copy and paste the content in the user guide. Make sure you have the correct SSID, which in our case is guest and the correct WPA pre-shared key, which was saved earlier in a notebook for easy accessibility. Save and exit the file. You'll need to create one more file on this etc slash systemd network directory. So let's do that. Open file 25-wlan.network with vi, then copy and paste the content from the user guide to this file. Again, I already created this file, so you are seeing the same information as the one you see in the user guide. The network daemons will need to be restarted to load the new configuration. Enter these commands. And then you just need to enable the wireless LAN by entering this command. Then you should be good to go. Once your wireless LAN is up, you can then perform throughput tests. Just follow the commands on the user guide to run throughput tests using iperf commands in TCP or UDP modes. And now let's move on to setting up Bluetooth. Remember to utilize the user guide link to set up all the command information. Let's start with going into the Bluetooth console with this command, Bluetooth CTL. You can view information about the Bluetooth controller on the board with the show command. Next, we need to power on the Bluetooth controller by entering power on, and then we can start the pairing process. We enter the parable on command. Remember, before we go to the next step, make sure your Bluetooth device, and in my case, the Bluetooth headset, needs to be turned on to connect. Now, I want to begin scanning. So I enter scan on. This will list out the MAC address of all the devices that are currently discoverable. You need to identify the one you want to pair. 
we will select and pair with Tozo-T6 by entering pair 58 FC C6 10 69 B5. Once it's connected, we need to mark the device as trusted by entering trust 58 FC C6 10 69 B5. Finally, set up the connection to the Bluetooth device by entering connect FC C6 10 69 B5. Once you see the connection successful prompt, you know that you've succeeded in properly connecting to the Bluetooth device. You can get the connected Bluetooth device information by entering info. Now I can start playing any music files on my Bluetooth headset. That's it. We have successfully enabled Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in this tutorial. For more details, please refer to the user guide. Get your hands on a Machina board today if you haven't done so, and remember to watch all the Astra tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.